In this video, I've got a review and tasting of this uh, spiced rum. This is Moon Cursor. This is from Cornwall. So if you want to know all about this, what it tastes like, where it comes from, and what I think would work well as a mixer, stay tuned. Hey drinks fans, my name is Steve the Barman and I hope these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite drinks. Spiced rum time, it's Sunday. Yeah, can't wait to crack this one open, mainly because it's Cornish. And before I get into it though, I need to do a big shout out to the Spiced Rum Club on Facebook. I've, I've always been involved. It's not my group. I've always got involved though. I just haven't been paying attention to how much it has grown. When I started giving it a shout out in these videos, uh, eight, nine, ten, ten months ago, whatever it was, um, it was literally a couple of hundred members. Now I look at it and it's over 1,500, 15, yeah, 1,500 members, 1,500. It is huge. It's such a vibrant group. Lots of fun. No pretentiousness in there. Uh, this one is a moon cursor. Uh, quick shout out to Tom for this and to Richard and Fiona. They have sent me this rum. This is not, they haven't paid me to do this, but they've sent it to me uh, to have a little taste and feature on this channel. And Tom is actually a member, guys, of the Spice Rum Club. He's a little bit shy though, so you need to, you need to kind of coax him out a little bit. So Tom, if you're watching this, get involved. And they've sent me these little rums as well. More Venna, that's their, that's their other brand. Okay, so more Venna. They've got a spiced uh, rum as well. Slightly more expensive than this one. This, this, they've said they've gone more entry sort of level with this one. Uh, so these were about 35 quid for a proper full size bottle. But if I read, if I remember rightly, something about apricot. Yeah, this one. It's a spiced rum using natural spices, hints of lemongrass, grass, apricot, and saffron. So I haven't actually tried that yet. I might do. I might do a, le a little separate video with that one as well. And then this one, no, I haven't actually tried either. This is Calcar. This is a coffee. Uh, coffee spirit as well. So as I mentioned, they are Cornwall Cornish Distillery, Cornish Distilling Company, I think that's what they're called. They are based up in Bude. And this this rum, I've got, I've, I can, you can geek out with these guys as well, because this rum uh, was launched last, last Easter, but they distill it themselves. It's something that I'd never ever heard of before. Uh, I did cut and paste this, Tom sent it to me. They distill the rum uh, themselves in Cornwall. It's molasses based rum distilled using an eye still. So think iPad, iPhone, eye still. Now, I'd never heard of an eye still before. I'll be open and honest. I thought, what the hell is that? Had a quick little Google. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's so, uh, I'm not even gonna begin to try and explain it to you, but apparently it can operate as a column or a pot still. Uh, just go and Google I still, all one word, like as I said, like iPad, but I still. Go and Google that. Uh, but as I say, launched Easter 2019. Bit of blurb on the back of the bottle, so let's read that for you. Uh, with its myriad of hidden caves and rocky inlets, Cornwall has been long notorious for its wrecking coast. Here smuggling was rife as the moon cursors stole their imports ashore in the dead of night to become stuff of local legend. We distill our rum from scratch just outside Butte on the very same coastline that these infamous locals frequented. 250 years later, we are little more on the right side of the law, but like to think we keep with the smuggler's devious spirit alive with this spicy rum. Best enjoyed on the rocks, of course. Um, spices include vanilla, orange, ginger, and cinnamon. But I don't think that's the extensive list because what Tom sent to me was well is, so the full list he's got here is vanilla, coffee, nutmeg, cinnamon, cassia, orange, ginger, and oak. So two, four, six, eight. Eight spices in this. I cannot wait to crack this open. 37.5%. Uh, Amazon Master Remote, I'm not sure which one. I, I'll put it on there. 25 pounds is roughly. As I say, the more Venna, uh, it's roughly about 35 pounds. So they've gone more entry level for this. So uh, yeah, let's crack it and see what it smells like. So straight away on the nose, and um, the big vibrant notes off there. It's kind of got that big sort of cinnamon notes going on. 
But I tell you, the longer you smell it, it's definitely vanilla that comes out on there as well. Get ginger that's coming. The orange, I'm not too sure about yet, but the big sort of three notes I'm getting on there, definitely cinnamon, definitely vanilla, definitely hints of ginger. Right, let's get on and taste it. This is a feisty little bugger, I'll tell you that much. The spice really comes out there. Actually tastes a lot stronger than the 37.5%. Bear in mind, I've done a, a batch of sort of 35s uh, recently. This tastes proper alcoholic. Sweetness scale? I'm gonna bring this down to a two. I think that's a two out of five on the sweetness scale, uh, purely because of the amount of spice in there. If for me, it's definitely on the drier side of the spiced rums. What flavors come out though? This is where, this is where this is really different actually, because the orange is definitely there now. That is super tasty. The sort of, the sort of spice comes and hits me around the lips first. The orange is the first note that I really get in the taste. Uh, as it goes down the throat, I get vanilla, definitely get cinnamon but the big thing that comes out in the end is ginger could I handle this as a neat sipping rum um, I think if uh, I think if the ice diluted a bit more I think if I had a bit more ice in there I think I can enjoy it I think it's a little bit too spicy for me to enjoy that neat um, but that is that is super tasty I can tell this is gonna be a cracking mixing rum really good mixing rum Right then, how can you enjoy this uh, best with a mixer? Now, uh, Tom did say, I've left the recipe card uh, through in the other, in, in the house, but he did send me through a cocktail recipe. Now I haven't made it, um, but he did include a slightly sweetened Dar Jar, Dar G, I can't even say it, Darjeeling tea. Um, I don't have Darjeeling tea, I'm, so, I'm sorry Tom, I'm not that posh. Uh, I don't drink Earl Grey or anything like that. When I go out next, uh, I will grab some. I'll make that for you. But what I found with this, this is a very much your sort of traditional spiced rum mixer kind of combo. So first up, Coca-Cola. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, great uh, rum, spiced rum and Coke. Next one's up was the Fever Tree Spiced Orange Ginger Ale. Again, amazing, absolutely amazing. Really, really like that together. In fact, just slightly pipping uh, the ginger beer. This is a very good rum and ginger beer rum. Um, very, very good. You, a lot of you, if you're dark and stormy, you're spiced and stormy, you're gonna absolutely love that combination. For me, it didn't work too well with the fruity stuff. So the pineapple soda and um, the tropical soda didn't work too well with those. But the last thing I am gonna leave you with that works very, very well, I've got another one of those, was Corsten's Press Apple and Ginger. Those two, again, just a match made in heaven. That was unbelievably good. Uh, really, really like that. It's probably how I'll finish that bottle off, to be honest, with the apple and ginger. Really, really like that. Now, as I've started doing recently as well, uh, we've got a couple of cocktails on the go here. So the first one up, we always do the daiquiri challenge now. I've started rolling these out. So again, four to one ratio, haven't tried these yet. So this is a daiquiri. Wow. Oh, that works. That is so, so good. The spice has really come well off that. Really like the daiquiri on that. And rum fashioned. So just stirred down, rum, uh, sugar, a bit of Angostura bitters. We'll see it rum fashioned. Oh, wow. Well, that's getting finished straight away. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, definitely prefer the rum fashioned. 100%. I'll tell you, it's that little touch of sugar. I haven't added that much. Just a little tash, a little dash of sugar. The cheer, those just lifts those flavours up. That is a stonking rum fashion. Well done, uh, Richard, Fiona, Tom. Well done. I'm definitely coming down because I want to check out this eye still. That's been this video. Oh, I think I. Oh, yeah, that. Let's get the coke out as well. I tell you. That just works so well. That is really good. 
a big, bold, vibrant sort of spices on there. Nothing subtle at all. There's nothing shy and retiring about that. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend that. That's that's tasty. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and give me a like below. If you like me and want to watch more of my stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified every time I set a new video live. And um, I've just launched um, my sort of paint, uh, or sort of relaunched, I should say, my Patreon uh, membership page now. So go and check that out. Lots of uh, three different tiers, lots of different membership options on there for you. Uh, lots of benefits for me to give back. I just, as I say at the top, I just want to help you drink so and enjoy your favourite spirits. Cheers, guys. That's oh, that's amazing. Cheers.